This is a beautiful example of a rocky outcrop and a laterite rock that is not too far from the sea and then uh, these are ancient uh, rock formations on hilltop that don't offer much nutrition and all so because it's rocky and all there's nothing no soil and all but and then it offers a specialized niche for certain plants which uh, are specialized and they evolved exclusively to live in this kind of place and then uh, this is one little deeper uh, place deeper means some half foot of water may be there and uh, it is about uh, some some 30 40 feet long and then about uh, some 25 feet wide and in the middle portion it's little hollow it's quite a very beautiful uh, example of a laterite uh, outcrop i had come here last uh, summer when everything had dried up so now we'll have a very detailed look at this this is that one of that uh, area kaulan i think it's uripeplon or something and this is a particularly large species this is as big as it gets many of the <coughs> specimens are much smaller than this even this plant quite fat and juicy because uh, this is the nice location for that plant and then uh, there are variations of these uh, these habitats some of them uh, have little more water or little less water like that so depending on that the plant composition will uh, change and within this uh, laterite right, this this little watery place itself there will be variations at the edge some plant will grow in the middle some plant will grow now one uh, you recall this this one i showed now you can have a close up with the higher resolution so that's how it looks little kind of a ball that uh, ah, that's how it looks extremely beautiful plants then along with that uh, this one utricular area this one this is that uh, one of the smallest of the utricular area that i have seen and it has the typical blue color and then that watery place that is where water logging is there and then it it's a it's called bladder water that is they have a some specialized structure underneath in which they catch some microorganism and they live in that so they don't need much leaves and all for nutrition they get it from those microorganisms what they harvest then uh, this one is one, of, one more parasitic plant that name i forgot this one white flowers are there it also doesn't have much leaves and all because it doesn't need its parasites on something else then uh, that is these are at the edge then uh, one more i think this is that one of the murdania i think this is also there then uh, one more that utricular area so these are the species and some smaller things are there which i'll go and not go into today then when we go little further into it um, it gets a little deeper and then in the where the water is more water is there more of this utricular area is there here this utricular area bunch is about uh, some so 
100 flowers and all are there. Extremely tiny, beautiful things. And uh, underneath also, you can see some some small green things you can see. Those little little dot kind of things that I don't know whether it's the leaf of that utricle area or it's some other species by itself. And then this also, oh, beautiful plot. That name and all, I identified it last year, but uh, I can't tell offhand. So, some three, four species we covered. Then, uh, when we go to a little deeper section of the same pool, the plant profile will change once again. Ah, this is very nice. This is the biggest of that. Uh, that Murdania species, what I showed earlier, fat, juicy plant. Then uh, here the water depth is little more, uh, maybe about uh, some uh, one inch of uh, some sediment is there. That, and then another half inch of water is there. So here one of that, uh, I think Karoto only. It's a bit sunny, but anyway, let me try to do this. This, this one, it's not yet started flowering. There's quite a nice community of them. Building here. That is there, and then uh, this is also something new for me. This one, some white flowered small plant. Uh, maybe one of that uh, Blyxa, probably. Because it's an aquatic plant having that Blyxa shape, and the flower also seems to be a variation of that Blyxa. Then, uh, oh yeah, it's blikes only. It's difficult to step here without messing up these places. They're so fragile. I can hardly see properly. Huh. This is the trotolite, it's flowered also. This one last year when I had posted, a lot of curiosity was there. People asked for bigger photos and all. This is one of the total only, I think. Mm, that's a flower. That white one. So that is there in plenty, and then this. Uh, this Blyxa, you can see the full plant formation here. It has uh, got that full form, and then uh, this uh, flower that could be a very rare plant, probably. Then uh, we go a little deeper. There's one more aquatic plant here, something. This one looks quite interesting. Maybe it's that uh, like soundly or something else. Oh, 
that's how it looks some flowering structure is just beginning to emerge maybe it's a blight also the whole bed of them under the water and then that same uh, i don't know it's a post maybe pogos stem on also this one that i couldn't get the correct id but uh, it's something to really marvel at this the whole beauty of this i have to get a better camera and i think some life forms also are there i saw some, heard some sounds and all my back part got wet sitting and videoing this then when we go a little to the deepest section uh yeah one more species this also i've seen somewhere lot of uh, frog uh, tadpoles are there some fish you uh, know uh, this one also i see I have seen it before. All these identities and all, I am getting slowly confused. This one jets out of the water and grows. That part. That is also there. This is an area cola only. This one. I thought it may be a black star. This one, yeah. Hmm. Then there is some some caterpillar that eats all this stuff. Some specialized forms of life are there. Jet black with some white stripe. My entire half of my clothes got wet. Then. Uh, no two more species are there today i got to see some of the most marvelous sights what i've seen so far a little bed of this this uh, Augustum or another rotol or whatever it is. That white part is the flower, and that pink part is the seed. So all this can happen in these laterite uh, rock communities, which are vulnerable to development, and then this uh, quarrying. Two threats are there for them. I think this place deserves a few more trips to cover individual species. Then few grasses are there. They are supposed to be on shrimp also. That is uh, designed for this kind of place. That's what I read somewhere. Some aquatic grasses, 
ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್